The welcome screen in Dreamweaver CS6 is a great jumping off point for creating a variety of different web content types quickly and easily inside of Dreamweaver. From the welcome screen, you can create new content, open existing content, and much, much more. Let's take a quick tour of the welcome screen so you know what's available. I'm beginning this video with Dreamweaver already open on my computer. And we can see over here that the welcome screen is already displayed and it's going to be covering up my document area that my normal web page would be displayed in. Now, some people, when they open up the welcome screen, they will have turned on this checkbox and then closed the welcome screen, and that will prevent the welcome screen from opening when you launch Dreamweaver. To get the welcome screen back, you would come up to your Dreamweaver menu on the Mac or the Edit menu on Windows and choose Preferences. In the general category on the left, you're going to want to come over here and make sure that you have show welcome screen checked. You'll then click OK, and then you can simply quit Dreamweaver and relaunch it, and the welcome screen will appear as expected. Now the welcome screen is divided up into a couple of main areas. Over here on the left hand side is one of my favorite features of the welcome screen, is a place where your recent items are going to be displayed. So all the recent items that I've opened in Dreamweaver are going to show over here in this left hand column. I can click on any one of these to open up that page and I can also click the open button and navigate to an HTML document that I want to open. In addition we have the create new column and as its name implies this allows me to create a variety of different new documents from this column. We could create new HTML, Cold Fusion, PHP, VBScript, CSS, JavaScript, XML. And then we have the new option here to create a fluid grid layout. I'm going to go ahead and click on that button, and you'll see that this new document dialog allows me to create a new adaptive layout. And this dialog helps me to do so. You can see it helps me to create adaptive layouts for mobile, tablet, and desktop content. And each one of these can be customized to suit your needs. You'll notice that by default, our adaptive layout is set to HTML5, which as you can see, Dreamweaver 6 now supports. I'm going to go ahead and click the Cancel button. In addition, in this Create New category, it makes it really easy for me to create a brand new Dreamweaver website. So if I click on that option, this allows me to configure my website with my default image folders, server locations, and many other options that help me to more effectively and efficiently create websites in Dreamweaver. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. One last thing I want to show you under the Create New column is that if I click the More button, this brings up my New Document dialog that helps me to really customize my new document in a variety of different ways. I could create blank pages, blank templates, fluid grid layouts, pages from templates, page from sample, and other. You can see in the blank page category, I have all of the page types that were listed inside of the welcome screen and many more. In addition, when I'm working with HTML, you can go into the third column and that allows me to create a variety of different types of layouts based on fluid layouts and static layouts as well. Each one of these categories will have different options available. I'm going to go back up to HTML, and you can see that in the doc type, we can also choose what type of document we want to include or create from this dialog. And as you might have known, the HTML5 option is there as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. In addition, the third column features the top features that are videos that you can access. By clicking on any one of these buttons, it'll take you to Adobe TV where you can watch videos about these new features. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And in addition, down here at the very bottom, you have other access areas that will take you to websites that help you to get started in Dreamweaver, see new features in Dreamweaver, access resources, and the ever popular Dreamweaver Exchange that allows you to download extensions that you can add to the Dreamweaver application. If I click on this option, it'll take me to the Adobe Exchange website 
where I can download products for different applications in the Adobe family. I'm going to go ahead and close this. One last thing when you're working with the welcome screen is that down here in the lower right corner, as Adobe adds information that it wants you to know about, that information is going to appear in the lower right corner of this welcome screen and will contain updated information. So keep an eye out in that lower right hand corner for that information that will be displayed. As you can see, the welcome screen is a great one-stop location for creating new content and opening existing content inside of Dreamweaver CS6. It's also a great point of reference for working in Dreamweaver and a great place to learn about new features as well.